Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about what happened yesterday and what projections will be uh, or subsequently or in the future, uh, depending on the way the case is being handled. Talking about those that were told to come back March 2nd for continuation, so to speak, of the trial. Yeah, they were granted bail. The persons arrested, close to 40 or thereabout of them. But Nigerians, they're talking about what happened yesterday, the way police handled protesters so much saying is the right thing for them to do to quell uh all foreseen circumstances while others are saying is it was a show of shame so what side of the divide do you belong to i still have uh, my analysts here with me in the studio they're talking about what happened and of course relating it to the state of the nation barista robinson imada you were making a point before we went on that break please continue with the point you were making talking about fostering law and of course order yes uh the truth of the matter is samuel autumn governor of benue state while speaking truth to power has mm -hmm. said the president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, is president of all and president to some. It means that uh, some people are dearer, some Nigerians are dearer to his heart mm. than others. And that's what we are seeing. The truth of the matter is can I or you, congratulations once again, as a father now, <laughs> decide not to give your children food because they may choke? We've seen people mm. eating, they get choked and they die. And so we now say, oh, madam, close the kitchen. These children may choke eating food. Let's not give them food. It's the right of the children to be fed. It's the right of Nigerians to protest. And you now say, oh, because of the fact that there may be violence during the protest, they shouldn't do it at all. And we have a Nigerian police force that ought to ensure adequate security for protesters. I said before, and I'm repeating, there's a shame on the police force. It's a shame on this administration. Under the last administration, we saw the practitioners, the leaders of this administration, protesting even when it was not necessary to do so. Calling the president then clueless and all unprintable names. And today, when you talk, it's hate speech. When you come to come on air like this to talk, you are gagged. You are not allowed to express yourself freely. And we are in a democracy. All that happened to the press during Buhari's first coming, 1983-84, is what is happening now. The only difference is that there is no decree to back it up today. And so it is done under the carpet. Uh, media houses, not ITV, are threatened. Don't speak the truth. Don't say this, don't say that. To so the extent that we are not afraid to talk about headers as full and is. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the Occupy Lekki protest was legitimate, is legitimate, and will be legitimate because it's bound to happen again. It may not be in Lekki, but protests will, will, will now erupt all over Nigeria because Nigerians have been pushed to the wall. Whether we like it or not, Buhari and his administration cannot silence the majority of Nigerians. All right, they're we not talking about to silencing. From time to time yeah. and from place to place until victory is assured. We are under siege and we cannot continue in perpetuity the way things are going now. Okay, well, uh, we are talking about uh, Buhari and his administration. They're not trying to gag anyone. After all, there was a protest in Lekki and, of course, all the way. The protest was being handled. Now, for us to really call it a wrap on this discussion, to prevent such from happening again, to prevent the hashtag NSAS uh, protest from reoccurring, because that seems to be the fear of security agents in Nigeria. You get to hear about uh, jailbreak, get to hear about warehouse break, get to hear about looting, killing, stealing, maiming. To really from happening, what do you think the government and, of course, Nigerians should do? The government should come out with their plan. The promises, the promised Nigerian, proud to the advent of this government where President Muhammadu Buhari promised Nigerians that he's going to make one naira to a, a dollar 
that is going to uh, provide 5,000 naira to every Nigerian, every unemployed Nigerian. That is going to create um, mm. a 3 million job per year. That is going to create uh, one refinery annually. All these have not been done. Poverty anywhere is a threat to prosperity everywhere. The reason why some hoodlums, some miscreants are jacked the answers protest was because there is hunger in our land. Recall that sometimes last year or last two years, the president gave an order asking the custom immigration to open the border for those from the African country to come into the country before they can obtain visa and passport. All this led to the insecurity that uh, has heightened in our, city, in our country, Nigeria, today. And uh, to talk about preventing the reoccurrence uh, of uh, uh, NSAS protest, mm. until and unless Nigeria, Nigeria authority provide the needed succor for our country, match their words with, the, uh, with uh, uh, their promises and action, uh, uh, the way and manner it will reoccur again it will be more devastating than the one we have saw before. The reason being that you cannot continue to uh, prevent the, uh, the people this way. And that the NSAS protest that's supposed to teach Nigeria government a lesson, that's supposed to bring about reorientation of the Nigeria police force, that's supposed to uh, take them to the class where they can be taught the rudiments of policing, and security, they did not do that. Our police are still doing more worse than the way, the way they were before. And the government has not done anything to ensure that the police authority and the way they police the society uh, were not given a, any a touch by way of reorientation. So even what they are doing is even worse than the, the one they did that uh, prompted the NSAS uh, protest. Mm -hmm. So, we are seeing in the nearest future that this will not be NSAS protest. It will not be protestation again. It is going to be a revolution. Well, no, no we, talking about revolution I'm telling right you, now. because no the way and manner right the government is even mm. going about it, situation where when the NSAS uh, uh, started, the president finds it difficult to even speak mm. to Nigerians. The governors of the respective states could not even come out to say something meaningful mm. to quell the NSAS uh, protest an indication that even some of them were happy that the protestation was going ongoing. But they cannot come out to say this. And yet, we saw people who ajacked it going to loot warehouse, going to... Uh, the, the worst scenario that played out was going to the prison mm. to, to break the prison. And yet, the, 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 the crime rates has increased and that those who who came out from prison that were awaiting trial, those who were hiding criminal, those who were uh, killers and murderers, they are now in the streets. Right. And the situation that we are in now is to sleep and close one of your eye and open one of your eye. Okay. And the government is not doing anything to arrest it. Even the advent of these vigilante, uh, these uh, security networks in different parts of the country has not even helped matters. Recall that about a day or two on Thursday, so to be specific, in Ogun State, a policeman opened gun on the a member of the Amete mm -hmm. All these are certain uh, indices that the government of this country has come with deceit and they are not uh, doing anything to arrest the situation. And the nearest future that we are seeing, there will be revolution. It all will right. no longer there, be protest. There will not be a revolution. There will not be a revolution. Oh, uh, all Christ. right. There will not be a revolution. Please, please. Also, watch, watch your emotions. Thank you so much, Barista. Uh, Honorable Desmond Ubo. Uh, Barista, I'll be sending my day briefly your last line in this discussion because our time is up. There will not be a revolution this time mm. in Jesus' name. Mm. But we'll call for a revolution mm. where you know, Jonathan was a power. Very briefly, E. Buhari and the APC are able to meet 50% of their campaign promises, mm -hmm. Nigeria will be better for it. Just now they have pushed aside all the promises they made, all of them, and they are, uh, nobody can talk about what they are doing now. They do what they want to do, what they like, and we are not allowed to criticize their actions. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, there's poverty in the land, there's insecurity in the land, banditry is 
pervading the, 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 pervading the length and breadth of the country, hunger, mention it. We cannot continue like this. For this country to continue like this, whether we like it or not, the clarion call of Buhari in 2014 for a revolution will come to pass. Well, nobody's calling for a revolution right Indeed. now. Nobody's calling for a revolution. I believe that we'll get through this. We'll really get through this. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your wonderful analysis. Well, whatever you heard them say is your opinion. It has nothing to do with ITV. Well, we, we made sure that we follow the rules and regulations governing the airways. Even my guests also, they did their best to check their emotions, uh, follow the regulations governing the airwaves. Well, that's it from all of us here in the studio this morning saying have a wonderful Sunday. Bye for now.